Hi, it's Laura back with another video. I am still in Los Angeles and today I'm just going to go explore LA. It's actually really chilly here. So I have on all these layers. I went to church this morning and now I'm just going to kind of do my own thing. I asked a friend of mine if she wanted to come with me. She already had plans. I asked my sister if she wanted to come with me. She was too tired. So I got the car. Yay. Thank you, sis. And I'm going to go explore L.A. by myself. Unfortunately, it's already after 4 p.m. Well, it's actually 4.09 p.m. And that's unfortunate because I just got the car and I'm really excited to kind of explore LA by myself, but it's not too long before the sun sets. But let's see what I can fit in between now and then. And maybe I'll even do something after the sun sets. <laughs> I don't know what time I have to return my sister's car. I should ask her. Maybe I should call her now. Okay, so the light's about to turn green and let's go. So first up on my agenda was to visit the Arts District, which is located in downtown LA, or DTLA. <laughs> and it looked a little sketchy when I first got down there. It looks like it used to be a bunch of warehouses and factories, but obviously it's undergone a beautiful transformation because it was super artsy, super creative, really fun and funky. They had all kinds of cool restaurants, and I arrived at Hauser & Worth. Now Hauser & Worth is a gallery downtown and I really wanted to see this, um, this exhibit by Thomas Price. It's called Beyond Measure. It was free, so you could just walk in. I loved that. And I did a little research after I posted what I thought about it. I did not realize that, do you see that right there? Oh my gosh, it's made out of marble. He sculpted that out of marble. These were absolutely stunning. That head right there was about, I don't know, maybe two feet high. It was quite large. And the large bronze ones that you're going to see in a moment were over 12 feet high. They were really unbelievable. Such intricate detail. I, I really, really loved it. Afterwards, I went to a little shop that they had right there by the gallery and it was just a teeny little shop with a lot of cool kind of artsy things, books and scarves. That clown thing in the back was kind of creepy, but I enjoyed walking through there. But I was really impressed by this restaurant that was right there on the property. I think it's called Manuela. It was really beautiful. Such a cool place to go and hang out and have some drinks, meet up with friends. And then as you walk through this space, it was very open and airy, a really nice place to kind of just spend an afternoon if you have some free time, because it's very green and very lovely and it's covered so it wouldn't get too hot. And I was really impressed because they had this little garden off to the side and I didn't know what to expect, but as you can see when I go around this corner, I was not expecting to see, hold on a moment, I'm going to show you in a moment, uh, hold on, hold on, there we go, a wildlife habitat. And what's in the habitat? Yes, 
chickens. <laughs> chickens running around inside this coop in downtown LA. I, I found that quite odd and interesting and fun. So anyway, it's great for kids too. Bring your kids and check out the chickens. But really, it's a nice kind of family environment. So I really enjoyed going to the exhibit and I had no idea that downtown LA was so hip and happening. There were so many great restaurants. So definitely check it out if you are free on a Saturday or Sunday afternoon. Somebody is smoking weed in this garage, and I swear, like a contact high. Oh my gosh. I'm trying to get in the light so you can see me. So that was stop number one at Hauser and Worth. That was amazing. The first, those white statue, the heads, they looked to be like made out of crystal or they were shiny when you got up close on them. They're really cool with all the intricate details. I really enjoyed that. And then the bronze, and the other ones were bronze, the really large ones. Those were really large, like 30 feet high, maybe. Anyway, really cool. I'm gonna have to learn more about the artists. I really enjoyed that. All right, now off to stop number two. Next up on my list, something iconic. And yep, there you guessed it, Hollywood. I wanted to check out the Hollywood sign and the Walk of Fame. Now, if you've never been to Hollywood, you definitely need to be prepared for the fact that there is definitely a dark, gritty side to it. This is right down the street from the Hollywood Walk of Fame, and there are a lot of homeless people living right here on the streets. There are a lot of tattoo parlors, nothing against that, I want a tattoo actually, but a lot of people look like they were just strung out. But there were also a lot of food trucks. Look at that fruit, yum, churros, can't go wrong with a churro. So loads of choice in terms of a variety of foods. And then I went to look at some of the stars. It was really cool. They're there to celebrate the people in the arts and look at these stars, really fun. I was to try to find Tina Turner's star. I tried to Google it, but I couldn't find it. So, but now I am way too hungry to search anymore. There's so many, <laughs> so I'm going to get Something to eat. So, I had a little road rage incident. Actually, somebody was really awful on the freeway and that really made me nervous. So I was on my way to get some Thai food, but I'm just gonna stop driving now. This place looks really packed and popular. Let me see, let me show you. And I think I'll get some Mexican. Street truck, but it's super crowded, so that's a good sign. Well, I made it back home and I'm eating the gordita. And she said this was small, but you can see it's quite large. It's almost the size of my hand. And it's very good. So I'm looking forward to eating this. And that's my afternoon in LA. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.